Hey there, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you two ways to factory reset your Apple iPhone 15. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you two ways to factory reset your Apple iPhone 15. The first method is gonna be if you can log into your phone, and the second method is gonna be if you have a password and you can't get into it, or if your phone already says disabled because you've put the password in wrong too many times, the second method will help you factory reset it so that you can continue using your phone again. All right, so let's jump into method number one, which is through the settings. So you're gonna go to settings, you're gonna go to general, then at the bottom, it's gonna say transfer or reset iPhone. Okay, you're gonna select it. And then at the bottom, it's gonna say erase all content and settings. We're gonna select that. Uh, and then it's just gonna let you know that it is gonna remove all of your personal data and all of your information. So everything on your iPhone will be deleted completely uh, and it will reset your iPhone back to its factory condition. So make sure you do back up anything that you do wanna keep or uh, you know back it up to your iCloud or to your Mac or PC. All right, so once you're ready, go ahead and hit continue. It's gonna ask you for your password, so this is in the event that you do know your password. Hit erase iPhone, and the reset process will begin. So we're just gonna give it a little while here for it to uh, you know, completely load through all of these processes, and we'll wait till it completes. So there you go, once all of the bars are completely loading, uh, it's gonna take you back to this screen where you'll have to, once again, set up your iPhone from the beginning. So depends how much data you have on your iPhone. If you have a lot, it will take a little bit longer. Um, but if you don't have too much stuff, it should just take a few seconds to maybe a minute or two. All right, so now I'm gonna show you method number two to factory reset your Apple iPhone 15. So let's say that you have a password and you can't get into the phone, or let's say it's already disabled because um, you've tried putting in the password wrong too many times. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a MacBook or PC, and you're gonna have to download iMusic, which is this right here. Uh, and what we're gonna do is, we're going to need to connect the iPhone 15 to the computer. All right, so how we're gonna do this is we're gonna press volume up, volume down, then we're gonna press and hold the power button until the iPhone shuts off completely. And then once the phone powers off, we're gonna connect the USB type C cable that is connected to the PC or Mac, and we're gonna press and hold volume up and the power lock button at the same time, and we're gonna continue to hold them, all right? So let's do that now. So volume up, volume down, press and hold the power button until the phone shuts off. And you can go ahead and actually connect the USB-C cable now. Once it powers off, let go and press and hold volume up and the power lock button. You're gonna see the Apple logo. Just continue to hold the two buttons. And then once you see this uh, connect to MacBook uh, screen, uh, you are, you've made it to the right screen. This is the Apple iPhone restore screen. So we're gonna go ahead and follow the prompts on the uh, MacBook uh, or PC. All right, so we're gonna receive this message here. Uh, it's gonna look like this. A software update is required to connect to your iOS. So we're gonna select install here. And this is gonna take a little while. Um, you have to wait until it downloads uh, the new iOS, which will be reinstalled into the iPhone because in order to do the reset uh, uh, with this method, the old software from the iPhone will be removed and the new one that we're downloading is gonna have to be uh, installed into the iPhone. All right, so it is gonna take a little while, depending on how fast your internet speeds are, but uh, I'm gonna continue recording once it is downloaded. Okay, so once it's finished downloading, uh, we got this message here on the computer. Uh, so it says there's a problem with the iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. So here we're gonna select restore. It's gonna say, are you sure you want to uh, restore? Uh, everything is gonna be deleted. So, you know, once again, everything on your iPhone will be erased back to factory condition. So go ahead and hit restore and update once you're ready. It's gonna give you this confirmation message, hit next, and then hit I agree. Okay, uh, so as we can see down here, it says downloading iPhone software update. Uh, so it's downloading another update. It says 11 minutes remaining. So depending on how fast your internet connection is. All right, so, so in the process of your factory reset, your iPhone may uh, come back to this screen. Okay, so it will come out of restore mode. If that happens, just repeat the process once again. So volume up, volume down, hold, uh, press and hold the lock button 
until the power uh, to the, till the phone shuts off. And remember, it has to be connected at all times. Once it does, let go and then press and hold volume up and the power lock button and continue to hold them until the restore screen appears. Once you see that, you can let go. All right, so we're gonna place it right here once again. And as we can see, we got the message on the computer again. Uh, let's go ahead and hit restore. I believe the software did completely download. So hit restore and update. It should not say downloading anymore since uh, I think it completely downloaded it. And as we can see, it is extracting the software here of the iPhone. So the restore process is underway. Okay, now we're gonna get the this loading bar on the iPhone. We're gonna wait for it to completely load up. So as we can see, the bar is completely loaded now. And on the Mac here, it says verifying iPhone restore. So it should be done pretty soon. Okay, so as we can see, the reset process is done here on the MacBook. And we have one more loading bar here to go. And there we go, finish loading up. And as we can see, the phone uh, is completely reset back to factory condition. We are at the initial setup of the iPhone. And then all we have to do here is, uh, you know, just go through the settings, select your language, country, you know, go ahead and select all of your options and get your iPhone 15 set up. Okay, so that is pretty much it on the two methods to factory reset your Apple iPhone 15. Go ahead and hit that like button if this video helped you out. I really do appreciate it. And that's all for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. As always, peace.